Chef Ali here. We are going to make the Harvest of the Month Sally salad for October. So I'm so excited October is here. I think we're all ready for it to kind of cool off. So I'm going to show you what goes into this. This is our bell pepper ranch hand salad. So we love this one. You guys love this one, which is the most important part. All right. Every time we do this tasting with kids, you guys absolutely love it. So this is going to be available in your cafeteria through the month of October. So first off we have our lettuce. I'm using some super greens, that's what I do. It's a little mixture of spinach and arugula and um, mescaline and just some little baby greens. So I'm using a mix like that. At school we will use romaine. So any type of lettuce you like will work really well in here. We just wanna use the, darker, the darkest greens we can find because that makes it super rich of antioxidants and vitamin K. So we wanna make sure we get that. Okay, we also have some croutons we're gonna to top it off with, off with at the end. I know you guys love croutons. We have some shredded carrots that will go in there. Some shredded cheese, yum. A little bit of ranch dressing. But our star player today is going to be the bell peppers. So we're gonna do a mixture of red and yellow bell peppers in this recipe. So these have already been washed. I'm gonna go ahead and we're going to cut the bell pepper off the middle. So we cut this open, we can see inside all of the seeds. Nothing will happen if you eat these, but they don't really have the best texture for your mouth. So what we like to do is usually cut out the little rind here also. So we'll get that out. Always try to cut away from your body, just so in case there's ever something that, that slips. All right, and then we're gonna cut them in really fine, li thin little strips, it's called julienne. So it looks similar to this. These are a little bit bigger, but this is pretty much a, this is a big julienne. So they're little strips like this, okay? So if you saw when I was cutting there, I used a method called claw and saw. So we do that for a couple of reasons. One, so we don't chop off tips of our fingers, right? But two, we can also use our knuckle to guide the knife so that we know exactly where it's going. This is what chefs use on TV. You know when you see them talking and they can just cut, cut, cut. That's because they're so comfortable with it. So that's, that's one of the methods we wanna do to make sure that we don't hurt ourselves when we're in the kitchen using a knife. All of these recipes, you guys, are gonna be really easy for you to make at home. So I'm gonna do one more strip of yellow. All right, so we got our strips of yellow. And then I'm gonna save this for another day in another recipe, so I'll put it in a little plastic baggie. But I do have a little bit of the membrane and some seeds here. I'm gonna go ahead and put those in my compost bin so I can take it out to the garden later. Okay, then we're gonna do the same thing with a red one. So cut off this side here. This one did pretty good. I don't have too much of that uh, membrane in there. I'm gonna do two sides of this as well. So we'll save these, like I said. And then this one, I'm gonna cut out a little bit of that. Like I said, it's edible. Nothing will happen to you if you eat it. It's just a preference of like texture. And then let's cut some thin little julienne strips of this also. Still using the claw and saw method to protect my fingers. Okay, so now we always wanna be moving stuff around our cutting board to make sure we have a nice clean workspace so other things aren't gonna get in our way. So now what I'm gonna do, maybe I'll break this up, is I'm gonna turn them this way and I'm gonna cut them into little bite-sized pieces. So with salads, we wanna make sure we're having pieces that are all pretty closely uniform so that we can get a nice bite in our mouth without pieces like hanging out. So see how that's a good little, this is called a medium dice. Little medium dice there, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and take those and put them into my salad. All right, we're gonna do the same for the rest of the red. All right, and then I'm gonna do the same with the yellow as well. Now, if you're not as quick with a knife, that's okay, take your time, okay? We don't wanna rush through this. This is a very simple salad to make. So you don't want to get hurt making it. But this is going to be a great thing you could make for your family for dinner. And I'm pretty sure most people will enjoy it. 
You're welcome to use any color bell pepper, okay? We like doing a couple different colors, one for the different nutritional benefits, right? Our yellow foods give us lots of vitamin A, so, that, so we like to have one of those. The orange foods do that too, so either one of those. And then our red foods help with our heart, okay? So we wanna have different phytonutrients, which is why we like to combine these different colors all together so that we're eating a rainbow of colors. So we're gonna put all these in here. Okay, so we have our salad here, and then we're gonna go ahead and add in the carrots. So I'm gonna sprinkle in the carrots. Let's look at how pretty that is. I'm gonna get some tongs real quick. Okay, look at how pretty that is. We have red, we have green, we have orange, all that in there. And then now that we've tossed it lightly, we're also gonna add our cheese. We're gonna sprinkle in some cheese. I don't think I need quite all of that, so I'm gonna save. We're gonna do, I'm gonna do my croutons last. So we have a little bit of cheese. And then let's go ahead and add in our dressing. So the dressing is going to be something where you need to see how much you actually need. So the recipe might give you an amount to use with a salad, but if you think it's gonna to be too much or you're afraid of overdressing it, I always like to do a little bit at a time so you don't make the um, lettuce too wilty. So I sometimes will just like drizzle in and then I can always add more, but you can't take it out once you put it in. So let's get that in there. All right, we need more. We'll come back. If you wanted to make this ahead of time, you could make everything I just did and then just wait to put the dressing on it until right before you serve it. Because like I said, once you get that dressing on there, if you wait too long, your lettuce and your oh, bell peppers are gonna get a little um, wilted. And we don't want that. We want everything to be crisp and have a nice crunch. Okay, so there we go. We tossed that up. Like I said, that was plenty of ranch dressing. You can see everything's coated pretty well there. See that? And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in my croutons. Toss those in a little bit. So fresh. The two colors of the bell pepper really give this salad a lot of life. So I really encourage taking that extra step to have two different colors. Like I said, it could be green and red, orange and red, orange and green, yellow and green, whatever combinations you want. But the two colors is really going to take this to the next level flavor wise. So I really encourage that. And then, like I also said, this is going to be available through October in your cafeteria. So we are still doing meal distribution, even through COVID. If you guys are hungry, you need to take advantage. It is free for you, okay? So we will post, we are constantly posting the diff different pickup times, where to go, the locations. You can go to a different location other than your, your school site if you need food, if that's closer, that's fine, okay? But we want you to take advantage. The food is there, it's free, it's delicious, all right, you guys? Keep working hard in school, do the best that you can, that's all you can do. We miss you like crazy and can't wait to have you back in person.